we begin tonight, keeping them honest, with a story that is frankly hard to believe. You're going to want to sit down for this one. Academic freedom does not shield you from gross incompetence. Is this type of speech, assuming it is offensive and insensitive, as many people would agree, is that protected by the Constitution? And it is. This soon to be fired Sandy Hook truther, conspiracy theorist, Florida professor, uh, is in league with Alex Jones. Living in a world of these vast conspiracies. When Professor James Tracy was fired under the pretext of a paperwork snafu, everyone knew that was a lie. His fellow professors and many supporters weren't living in a cave. Over a thousand attack articles by the media which preceded his firing were hard to miss. What began as an attack on free speech by YouTube, Facebook, and others has led to a conspiracy to fire a respected, tenured professor. We must stop this trend. They may conceal their intent with claims of policy violation or copyright infringement, but that too is a lie. We want to make it very clear that he was speaking as an individual. The university does not support this position. The censorship of James Tracy, other alternative media sources, and you is connected. It's all a clear violation of our right to free speech. Professor Tracy, he hosted this blog where there, it wasn't just him. There were intelligent people making inquiries and asking intelligent questions. They either kill you or try to discredit your character. Where was Professor Tracy's freedom of speech? You are persona non grata. The national news media is so remiss in reporting the facts that we as a people deserve today. Earlier this year, IMS interviewed Dr. James Tracy's legal team and other parties with insight regarding the media attacks against Tracy, his firing by FAU, his lawsuit against the university, and his ongoing appeal. But only James himself was able to give his side of the story, a very different story than that being sold by the media. Most all the classes that I taught, particularly at the upper division level, um, were very well received by the students. That's not easy to do when you challenge the students and when you make them work. Project Censor will put out a, a, an annual yearbook, they still do, and a lot of these stories that, that my students uh, researched, a number of them were included. He said, uh, you know the idea that, um, that you had uh, essentially been betrayed by the union and that the union entered into an agreement informal or otherwise with the administration to facilitate your termination? It's true. It happened. The mere fact that the litigation was progressing as far as it had, and it had not already settled, was entirely political. I think that FAU always knew that they would have public opinion on their side. If you look at the transcript, a lot of the stuff that the jury didn't get to see, which was argument about evidence, um, an overwhelming amount of evidence that showed FAU knew what it was doing was wrong and, and did it anyways. It's basically open season on anyone who, who has the courage to, to speak the truth. There were also um, professors, of, you know, former administrators at FAU that submitted statements to the media stating that the real reason for my termination was my blog. I think that Americans typically believe that they have recourse in the legal system. Well, I'll just sue you and, and I'll get justice that way. But they've never experienced a corrupt court or a corrupt judge. We believe that uh, I would have been uh, compensated 
with back pay and I would have uh, been able to get my job back uh, through this process. Now, that, that didn't pan out and so now we're, we're looking at the appeal process. I uh, typically had uh, colleagues uh, at FAU over to my home uh, as, as guests and um, this case has changed all of that. They fear being associated with me uh, because of their own perhaps pending promotion and or tenure cases. Uh, they don't want to be to be tainted. And I've, uh, I've thought about this. Sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and I think, you know, um, I'm never going to talk to those people again, most likely. And then I think about it and ponder it uh, a bit more carefully and I say to myself, I'm not sure if they ever were friends. Despite the expertly crafted arguments of his legal team and clear evidence that he was fired for his speech, protected under the First Amendment, James Tracy lost his case against FAU. The decision is currently under appeal. The James Tracy versus FAU case has far-reaching implications that could negatively impact your right to speak freely at school, at work, and at home on social media. How the appeals court will rule does rest partly on public sentiment. Members of the public, academics, rights organizations, and other groups can help. To offer your assistance or to follow the events, visit memoryholeblog.org, imsreporting.com, or peopleoverpolitics.org. And stay tuned for the completed documentary production coming soon.